that cloak, but now, now with now with these things on, I think that's going to be a tough task. Would you like help? Uh, no, maybe. I'm capable of help. Right? You're so strong. I'm a tomato and I'm here to help. <laughs> I've been planning for aerobics <laughs> for years. Really? <laughs> You're a tomato? <laughs> I'm a tomato and I'm here to help. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> God, I planted this years ago and finally bearing fruit. I'm, I'm going to hold off on it because I don't want to get up. Okay. I'll be honest. I do want to get up. Then maybe you could help Because most of my garment is... Is below the waist. The rest of the garment. Oh, yeah, work. I love those shoes. I like your funfetti uh, shoes. Mm-hmm. Do you feel funfetti in them? I do. My equipment doesn't feel funfetti right now, but that's oh, okay. Oh, girl, you'll get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tuck them up? Not really. I just sort of smushed everything back. You can do that. I did the that tricks tell. Yeah, you don't need tape. Uh, tape is for quitters. Oh, thank you. Me. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> I was I, I I actually do you know what my costume is? Uh, Jinx wants switch. <laughs> <laughs> Woman of the woods, a swamp witch. Yes, I was gonna say, <laughs> was gonna say Jinx monsoon. Yes, a swamp witch. You 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 understood. You were ready. Okay. I'm doing my interpretation of you know America's best aerobic athletes, mm-hmm. or if you prefer. Uh, Mary and Ramaya kiss from the Super Stomach Workout. <laughs> the Super Stomach Google it, Workout. It's a delight. <laughs> oh, is that the one? It's, no, w- it's not the Aerobics Championship. Of no, whatever. that's that's America's best aerobic athlete. Do, 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 do. But the Super Stomach Workout by Mary and Ramaya kiss was a very formative '80s mm-hmm. workout tape that we, me and my sister, found at a Goodwill mm-hmm. at a very young age. Tribal out. And then, like, we would do it together, and it was a good time. Mm. Actually, it wasn't. It's a very, like, difficult workout. I mean, it's not difficult, but, like, it feels difficult. And she says these lines that will haunt me for the rest of my life. Ooh. Things that, like, will never leave my mind. Where she's, like, rattle you know, like, like a little clamshell closing an opening. And I'm, like, as I'm just, like, sweating, just dying. And I'm, like, you can shove that clamshell <laughs> up your clamshell, <laughs> bitch. Shut up. And she's like, imagine you're trying to fold the fabric of your leotard. Press them, press them, press them, and release. Good. And I'm like, oh, ooh. I'm like, don't do this to me. That work. Marion. 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 May I call you Marion? No. <laughs> when I thought clamshell, I'm like, yeah. yeah. Where's the like a little clam? You need the clamps from the clams. Oh, they and mean. She also goes and higher. You mean the animal? T. Are clams animals? They are. They're in the. They're I don't the, like that. They're in the kingdom animalia. I don't like that. Okay. I don't. I understand that they're not mammalia. Right. Of course not. But. Pseudopodia. <laughs> That's not what they are. <laughs> they might as well be. Frauds. Let's speak on it. Thank you. I. Go ahead. No. 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 Take, speak then, on the name. I had nothing. Uh, you had something. No, I just breathed and I was gonna spit. Like I was just gonna like spin my <laughs> spit wheels. Some rhymes. Right. No, you had something. So also in the super stomach workout. Yes. Which again, if you were to YouTube super stomach workout by Marion Romaiakis, I just wanted to say I have the rare purple monster. It was green. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a T for me. <laughs> It's a tea for me. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. They they have you do, they have you do a little, a little bit of. Imagine I'm on the floor though. I'm at just imagine. <laughs> You're welcome. Just imagine I'm on the floor. <laughs> so like they have you like cross your legs at the ankles, and then we're working on three yeah. levels with this right. one. We're starting lowest, mid, and then high. Oh no! Oh, that's tough. And so you're sitting there like doing crunches with your legs, like basically like this, and you're doing crunch. Crunch, crunch. And then she's like, and higher. And you have to go up. And then, like, you have to go to the highest. And you're trying to, like, do crunches. And you're actually just kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it hurts. And it feels like you've just got to vomit. It's horrible. And you can't breathe. And, and she's like, keep your breathing. Breathing's very important. And I'm like, Marion. 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 It's the sound of the remaining breath leaving your body. Just. Just a little. When you clamp the clamshell a little too hard? She's like, a little clamshell. And I say, no. Because I don't want to. That's... <laughs> oh, I don't think he does either. Oh. Ooh, tea. Oh. Period poo. Oh. This is a women's bathing suit. 
<laughs> is it really? Yeah, and it and it came with little uh little 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 breasty inserts, mm-hmm. which was nice, but like my chest is set up in such a way that it just sort of like made very obvious little like lines foam lines. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm gonna go all natural. You're looking cute. You got like little breast disease. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I keep those underneath my breasts. The little ones are under the breasts. I have a secret <laughs> second pair of breasts under these breasts. My ear. <laughs> if you put this ground up with an eye of newt, which is mustard. Oh. I think. I, okay. I think eye of newt is mustard seed. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's not an actual eye of newt. Oh. Like, it's not. A, they don't take, like, a, a salamander. And but what then, about a fillet of a fenny snake? Uh, that might be a fenny snake. Okay. Yeah. Lightly fried fish fillets. Not strong enough. <laughs> Brother? Yet. America's best aerobic athletes. Be- most wanted. Okay, so I didn't do anything illegal this weekend. Okay. But I did something that felt illegal. Okay, I'm listening. So I'm a creature of misfortune. Okay. Um... And in, in, in a like Murphy's law, sometimes feel like feels like it does apply to me. <laughs> so on Friday night, I have the whole house to myself. Girls' night. I, it's girls' night. It's just me. I'm feeling free. Two. I can do anything. I can do whatever I want. Two. Some friends on Discord were like, "Hey, hey, we're watching a movie. Hey, how y'all doing? We're watching a movie. You want to hang out?" And I'm like, "You know what?" Sure, because why not? It's good to be social. Um, and I did, and it was a fun time, and it was nice. At one point, though, I was like, you know what? I'm going to order a pizza. I see that the pizza got, it says, delivered. But there's no pizza. I go outside. Oh, my no. ring, no notification oh, on my no, ring. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. What if I told you it gets worse? No, no, no. The next day, you had pizza at my place. Oh, that's right. So, so was it Sunday when you had another pizza? No, it wasn't Sunday when I had another pizza. Okay. <laughs> it was Monday when I had another pizza. <laughs> Again, that's There's my a fantasy, so I'm not upset I, about right. it. I'm just clarifying. Right, right. No, no, no. I understand that you're not against me in this, and I, I've gone through I'm enough an, therapy I'm to know an that ally you're not. <laughs> to the pizza situation. I'm an ally. Ally. <laughs> A-L-L-Y. Really both going to go for you. So, so I'm like, okay, it's like 10.45 at night. I'm so hungry. And I look outside. There's no pizza. And I go, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. I go and look. And the address that I put in. Oh, no. I did this fun little thing where you just do this wacky little trick and, and don't type in. I wasn't using my 10 key. I was on my laptop, which is just the top numbers. And, like, I, I haven't used the old texts in so long. Right. That, like, I just am like, well, I hit all the numbers. Mm-hmm. And at a quick glance, it looked right enough. I know. I know where we're going here. Are you sure you know where we're going? I don't know where exactly we're going, but I have a I have a general. My compass is pointing north. <laughs> do, you, do you have a spidey sense? Is it tingling? <laughs> so, I realized, fuck, my pizza's been delivered to the wrong house. Mm-hmm. And I think at ten forty five at night. At ten forty five at night, and I think, you know, the address that I put is not far from my house. Yeah. It gets worse. Okay. <laughs> so I think if I get in my car right now, yeah. I could go to the house and see if I can get my pizza. Right. Right. Now there's some details that I've left out. Okay. Like for one, it asking me to log in three different times <laughs> and me going, "No, I don't want to log in." <laughs> <laughs> where you know my house address is saved right because i wanted my pizza now <laughs> right there was multiple times like i actively chose to not log in right so it's on me at the end of the day yeah 
And there we go. And so I, 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 I figure that's okay. My friends that are in the VC with me, they're like, oh, well, like, you know, if it's if it's still out on the step, you could just go and grab it because it was two pizzas and a Dr. Pepper. Right. So I don't tell them that, like, I specifically chose not to just leave it at the door. I wanted them to, like, knock or whatever so that I would know that it was there. Right. Like... I as I'm driving over and they're like you're insane and I'm like correct. Okay. Like I'm like they're like well maybe it's still out front of the house. I know goddamn well that they didn't leave it outside the house because I didn't choose that option. And I know that and I choose not to say anything and I'm like but maybe cuz it's so late. Right. It it could be so late. Also I'm pretty sure the address that I typed in doesn't actually exist. Okay. It's one of those where I just delivered it to the An house. Approximation. Right. So I pull up and I'm like, guys, it's a little cul-de-sac. And I don't see any pizzas outside any doors. And I figure out that it's probably the one right on the corner. Mm -hmm. And so I think... Do you think if I knocked... They would at least give me a slice. Because, <laughs> like, okay, I understand that if a, if a pizza gets misdelivered to your home, you are allowed to eat it. That is now your pizza. The right. other person fucked up. But if within... I would be scared to eat it. With, right. Well, I didn't get that far. Within a 15-minute time frame <clears throat> of the pizza being delivered, if yeah. the person who orders it showed up, would you give them their pizza? Like, right. if or... the professor hasn't shown up for class, right? You get to go home. After exactly. Minutes. Like, I don't know. What about you? Like, if someone showed up, like, or would you just not answer the door? I wouldn't answer the door. Right. Right. I sometimes wish they did answer the door, because what happened to me was worse. <laughs> so I, I get up there and I'm so nervous already, realizing that like this probably is insane. Yeah. And I, I, I just did like a quick little knock. Because, like, lights were on. Yeah. And shit. And I'm like, okay, like, they were, like, turning on and off and stuff. Like, they were, like, TV, like, they were moving. So I'm like, okay, they're in the house. Right. And I just bought them dinner. Yeah. The least they could do is open the door for me. <laughs> so I Probably knock. post dinner. It's 1045. <laughs> so I knock. <clears throat> and it's silent. I'm like, okay. Until I start hearing voices. And I'm just standing in front of their ring, and I can hear a guy talking, going, Oh, I think it's the guy who ordered the pizza. And like, then it sounds like his wife is talking, and then there's like a child at one point. Right. And I'm listening to this family try to figure out this like quandary. What do we do? I, I have now terrorized this family <laughs> by ordering food and saying, Giving a I'm gift like, and then rescinding it. We right. But, like, I would have been fine with, like, could I have one of the pizzas? Right. Like, there's no way you guys slammed through an entire pizza already. Yeah. Like, if you haven't had the Dr. Like, you can keep the Dr. Pepper, although I'd be mad about it. Right. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. A two liter of Dr. Pepper? Mm-hmm. Oh, there would have been plenty left. Right. Well, they should have given you that. I, they could, they, at, at bare minimum. Right. They could have opened the door and given me the Dr. Pepper. Right. And I think I would have been like okay. Football. I would have been okay. <laughs> Just woof. So I like am listening to them talk for about 30 seconds. And right. I'm like, they're clearly not going to open the door. Yeah. And I'm just standing outside this person's house listening to this family talk about like. What do we do? What do we do? This, what this, do we do? What do we do? This like, like, God, like, I feel like I just like. I gave them like an ultimate test. Right. Like, are you a good person or not? Because I thought you were a live person. <laughs> so I just left. <laughs> that doesn't feel criminal. That feels like a tragedy. Well, I haven't gotten to the theft part. Okay, work. All right. So the story's not over. Okay. I figure since I'm already out yep. and I'm hungry yeah. and I'm tired, yeah. 
you know what? I'll just swing through Jack in the Box and grab something because it's. But maybe you could have reached out to the pizza place and said it was delivered to the wrong place. I feel like they'd say that's your your bad. But there's a chance. There was a stronger chance. Customer service isn't dead. If this was XCOM, my attack had two percent chance. Your plan four percent chance, but I'll take four percent, and I should have. I really should have. Um, but I thought I'll just grab Jack of the Box. It's not a big deal. I I just order a little sandwich. That's all I wanted was a sandwich. And and I get to I get to the the window, and they're like, "All right, it's it's eight, whatever." Yeah. I look to my right, and I see my empty driver's seat next to me. Because, well, when I left my You're house, the passenger seat. Well, no. So like, I normally put my wallet or my purse and my passenger seat in the passenger seat. Okay, right. You said driver's seat. So oh, oh, my I was, I was like, you I looked to the right of my driver's seat at yes. the passenger seat, and there was no wallet. Oh. So then I look at this lady, and they're like, "I'm like, I'm gonna be really honest with you." Well, actually, I was like this. I was like, "I'm gonna be really honest." I, I just ordered a pizza and it like delivered it to the wrong house and I just like tried to get it from that house like a fucking crazy person and so I drove here and ordered this food without my wallet. Can I come back? And they're just like, yeah, we can hold on to hold on to it for you. And I'm like, okay, thank you. And then I drove home and got my wallet and then I did go back and get the sandwich because I did want it. Yeah. And it just felt like a loss all the way around. Yeah. And I just said, what am I doing with my life? Yeah. And that was my Friday night. Okay. So my question to you and to you, Hype Pogs, how long after receiving a fuck up pizza, a, 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 a misdelivered pizza, like how long would you wait before you start eating it? And at what point, like, would you consider still giving it back to the person who ordered it? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I wouldn't have ID on me, but I knew where to go. Well, like I said, like I, I probably would not have eaten the pizza out of fear because, you know, fear. Mm -hmm. I was raised on fear, law and order Slum. and, and, and true crime. Uh, so I would be like, this is an elaborate plot to poison me <laughs> which of course it's not because that's insane right but that's where my brain would go and so i would probably i probably would still be sitting there staring like pained expression like, at the pizza really thinking about 15 it. minutes later when the person arrived mm -hmm. and then i would find you know some level of relief and being like, is this your pizza? Meanwhile, you look up and Jordan's just on his second slice. Yeah. And just like, if I die, I die. Damn. God. Although at 1045, that's a, I'd be asleep. Right? That's what I figured. I would be asleep. Sometimes it's EP time 8. Sometimes it's 815. Sometimes it is 815. Damn, already? Yeah. Or like, I, I don't know. Like, I guess I thought like we started a lot earlier. No. It's okay. Stupid phone. Stupid boys. Stupid boys. Stupid, stupid, Let's get stupid boys. Let's party. Let's party, party, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, hello, and welcome to the uh, Hell Yeah Podcast. But, ooh, ooh. The only ooh. show. <laughs> on this channel the only one we've got <laughs> god manager Rudy. are those good or did you enjoy your sour patch yes. kids yeah good good uh yeah so that's um that is how that is how my witch ass spent my friday and my otherwise my weekend was nice work i'm glad thank you i'm glad it was good it's so tough being an icon Sometimes you get clicked on. Sometimes you get double clicked. Oh. It's nice to be an icon, but honestly, people just view you as a shortcut. Thank you. Sometimes you get right clicked. Run as administrator. Oh. Sometimes you get run right through dipped. me like. <laughs> <laughs> Permissions. You ever about to put it in? It goes. <laughs> yeah. 
you need the I just gonna give you the password. <laughs> you ever have to call IT and do the lock on your cage? Because you're doing it on the network Wi-Fi. <laughs> Oh, no. I need you to type in this capture for me. Clicky clacky dee. Click every square that shows a motorcycle. How much? I purposely, anytime I'm given a captcha, I purposely okay. get one wrong every time because it usually still lets you in. And I'm not trying to give the AI more power. Right. Because it's just trying, you're, all, all you're doing is it to, to train the models. Yeah. So I, I just know. get I just get everything just a tiny bit wrong. That's close enough. Yeah. Like I always get it wrong on the first time. Yeah. Even if you get it right, it feels like they'll just tell Even you. If you get it right, it sometimes they'll make you do it four more times anyway. They're like, "Oh, you're good. Oh, you were faster than the AI. So you want to do another one? Would you like to do another one? Would you like an ooey gooey melty cheesy kissy deal? And what are you supposed to do when it's like choose the motorcycles and then there's like. A hair of a tire. I'm like, is it just the motorcycle or is it the motorcyclists as well? Like, do I include the squares with the, the driver on it or just the motorcycle? Also, it's not a motorcycle. It's a Vespa, which is basically a scooter. And it's it, they don't even pay attention. They don't even care. It's honestly depressing. Yeah. Who 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 is Big Caption? Do I look? No. Thank you. You look cute. You look fit. You look aerobic. Ah. Uh, Aerobarobic. Which is where you can do crunches through the air really quick. <laughs> do you expect to have trick-or-treaters? Yes. They've stolen things in the past, I recall now. They stole my bowl and shattered it in the street. Was it a nice ceramic bowl? Yes. Have you switched to plastic this year? I'm I'm about to switch to y'all don't get anything because you ruined it for everybody else. <laughs> That's so cruel. Why? Punish them. Fuck it. Punish one, punish all. As they fucking should. <laughs> I mean, you did you have it on cam? Yes. Oh, so you got to watch them do it. Mm -hmm. Did you see them do it in real time? Yeah. I didn't watch them shatter it because they did mm -hmm. that out in the street. All right, but you saw them just take the bowl. Mm-hmm. Hooligans. Yeah. Are kids these days. Every day is. Kids day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> Little side pockets. Oh, yeah. Little oh, those are cute. Side pockets. Are those like leggings? Yes. Very cool. I got I like ones with the, the pocket for your phone. They have one up here. Inaccessible beneath my swimmy suit, <laughs> but in a different scenario, mm -hmm. there's a little pocket in the waistband. So I'm curious. You can always keep that motherfucking thing. Up. Hang on. <laughs> Fine. So what is this? How does that work? Your little belty. It's it. It just keeps the you know keeps the snatch. Right. Is it a snatch belt? Yeah. The source of my power. It seems cool. Is it set to Wombo? Ooh, ooh! I should not have put these nails on because okay. I have to log into my computer. Oh. And typing's hard. And then Sin said, "Oh, boo hoo! Get used to it. That's what women have to deal with." And I said, "But I don't want to." Do you like the appearance of nails? Eh. I just like my nails painted. Okay. Because I was going to say, if you like the appearance of nails, but not the function, then I, I think sends on to something and that you're just going to have to like, you know, get used to it, get used to the feel. Right. But if you don't like the look of them and you just prefer to have them painted, then T. it's more point. like, OK, so like I did it for the for the optics because like it'd be cute and fun and a little like, <laughs> but I also like don't want like, oh, yeah, like fun. But it's like all that feels like is it's just lifting up on my nail. Right. And I'm like, I don't like that. It's yeah. a sensory thing almost. Oh, I understand. And I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm. But I'm like, I had, my nails I had, painted are nice. I had borderline a mental breakdown from just having mine painted. So I, I know. You understood, right. I do. 
Yeah, you didn't like that? And then I tried press-ons because I was like, oh, that'll make it easier for like the second time when I wore mm-hmm. the Harley outfit. And then I had that whole thing of it's like, oh, it feels like I'm going to rip my nail off at all times. Love that. Yeah. Anytime I like touch it on anything, it's like, oh, great. My nail is lifting off. <sighs> Reminds me when Tyler went <clears throat> and just... <laughs> and then ripped her acrylic off. I'm like, you can't. You're not allowed. She's got no. She's got no feeling. She's not allowed to do such a thing. She's on beast mode. And then I'm like, are you bleeding? And she says maybe. And I'm like, that means yes. And maybe it doesn't mean no. And you're trying to spare my feelings, but that means yes. Which is funny because it's like, why would you like? How would your feelings be spared? You're the one bleeding. <laughs> she knew I would be in distress, and I was. <laughs> True. At the realization True. that she was bleeding. Yeah, that's fair. That's very fair. Oh, yeah. I have brought a prop. Oh, a prop. A prop. Oh, what is this? It's the 100% official magazine. It is a a, a Pokemon. Oh, no. (laughs) Tyranitar, no. (laughs) Titar, my boy. It, it's it's a 100% official Pokemon Magazine Ultimate Trainer Challenge. Oh, shit. It comes with awesome mini posters of Mewtwo, Darkrai, and Cresselia. Oh, that's actually pretty dope. Where'd you find this? At, uh, at the local grocery store. Oh, how fun. Indeed. Find the fire types. Oh, oh, that's fun. Find the grass types. Oh, okay. My oh. mother was a teacher. Oh, oh, perfect. Psychic types. Find the psychic types. And these are... There's a lot of th- Rock there's type. a lot of word search. There might be every type, in fact. Ground type. <laughs> Spot the difference. Oh, that one's shiny. Yeah. I don't know if that's true, but it might as well be. I mean the color is different, but I wonder if it's a print error. This one's got an extra extra yellow. Oh, it's got extra yellow. It's also got an extra, extra spike. A uh, two extra spikes. Quite a few, in fact. Different well, colored eyes, yellow versus white. Mm-hmm. I don't know which one's the real one. Um, oh, this says original pick. So this is right, this is real right. Garchomp. Oh, no little spindle right there. Mm-hmm. And then also a back. An extra thing. little a little claw. Yeah. Look at that. We spotted all the differences. Spot the differences. <laughs> <laughs> right um, rock. Lichen rock. Lichen rock. Dusk form, I believe. There's, yeah. Oh, that's right. There's a, a bonus. There's a bonus bitch right here. And that's that's Eep. Um, that's Eep. Eep. Missing a toe there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Extra tail. This is, we got a Kitsune over here. Mm-hmm. We got a slightly younger Kitsune over here. Absolutely. Um, different coloration. Different coloration. Uh, extra tooth on the bottom. Oh, teeth. Tooth, teeth, treat. Okay. Spot the difference. No. <laughs> is, there one for, is there one for each type? <laughs> oh, the little get one. We'll do this one real quick. Spot the difference. Uh, do, 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 do. More crowns on that one. Eyes upside down. Oh, upside down eyes. Uh, the feet are different. They're more moved out, oh, yeah. which is a very odd decision. Um, is that it? Really? This one is much more matchy matchy. Uh, yeah. Crowns. The crowns. Yeah. <laughs> they said there's three of them. They said there's three, and that's it. Okay, we've, okay. we've spotted quite a right. few differences. Oh, this was mostly why I bought it because there's okay. a variety of oh, okay, there's this of is... like battles that we have to we have to choose who the winner is, and I thought we could argue about it. Oh, okay. We have to pause here oh, in okay. a couple minutes. Oh, okay. So I don't know if we want to. Do we want to like see what else is in the book, and then sure. we'll do those when we come back? Yes. Okay. Okay, so we have all the battles, but we're because uh, yeah, secret, secret, secret battles. Secret secrets are so fun; you don't get to see it. Pokeball mazes. Uh, oh my god! Is is that a Gavin poster? Gavin, that's Elliot. Elliot, <laughs> damn it! I was so god. close. <laughs> Pokeball, Pokeball mazes. Don't cite the old magic at me, Widge. Pokeball mazes. Pokeball mazes. Oh, that's an electric type one. Pokeball mazes. Squirtle, nice, nice. Wait, Ooh, Pokeball mazes. Two water types. Two. Twice. Twice. Pokemon Pandemonium. <laughs> Tapido. Tug Pichibud. Oh, why love this? Oh. Sandshrew. Tatsuria. Beedrill. Catter. No. Oh. Rowlet. What? Stop it. Oh, that's not Rowlet. Kakuna. Did you already say that one? 
I did drum. not. I did say that one though. Uh, tempo. Hippopotamus. <laughs> it's not hippopot. Wigglytuff. Hell yeah. Violet Plume. Mm-hmm. Sand True. Oh, that's War Turtle. War Turtle. What's this? Mount, yeah. Mount Vesuvius. Vesuvius. Who is Vuseri? I don't know. I'll have to find that one. Pokemon Pandemonium. <laughs> Yay! Okay, okay. These are, these are great. These are wonderful. I thought these could be fun. Oh, I love Pokemon. Yeah. It's my first time playing Pokemon Decimals. 100% official Pokemon Magazine Magazine. is my favorite Pokemon. Um, (laughs) It's There's an Ultimate Leafeon quiz in there. Oh, thank God. (laughs) Also, odd that they put Shaman in there. Shaman. A little mythical for you. Just a quick mythical for your nerves. Mm. Pachirisu, the monkey, Piplip, the Neary. Get out. Turtwig and uh, hyped, overhyped. Get out! <laughs> Get! I wanted Polly World to become the mascot. I wanted Paul not Tossie you. To be the mascot Thank of Pokemon. You. Paul Tossie is my mascot. On period poo. Poop. Ow. The ultimate Squidward quiz. Oh, ooh, fun. The ultimate Moira Moira quiz. Ooh, you have something to take home. <laughs> Greninja. 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 Good if Mimikyu. Ooh, Mimikyu's cute. Mimi! Where's the Mimi? Mimi! 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 Oh, this one is a, a, now he's purple leafy on. Oh, purpley on. I work. It's a it's a shiny variant. You wouldn't get it. Gangi, Gengar, Gengar, Gengar Khan, the Gengi boy. Chowizud, Chowizud, Chorizo, oh, and then there's Scorbs, Scott Sobs, Sobs, and Gobs, <laughs> Gooks, and Grooks. Jack, yes! we could rip that out and put it on the wall. Power so Unleashed. These are dragon types. Oh, those are all pseudo. Well, they're not all. <laughs> My favorite <laughs> dragon type, Metagross. Metagross. Yeah. Hell oh, yeah. Oh, shit. All right. I got to go. Okay. All right. well, One sec. Goodbye. A lot of you have wrote to us. So many, so many of, of you have, have wrote to us. us. No. <laughs> Me. It's, it's time for the ultimate Squirtle quiz. The ultimate Squirtle. All right, I'm ready. Are you prepared? I'm ready for the quiz. Or do we, I wish we had a do 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 little timer. Which do, 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 question do, 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 do. number one? Which type is Squirtle weakest oh. against? Flying, electric, or dark? Electric type. Okay. They it, don't give answers, so I don't know. Wait, there's no answers. Or are they <laughs> in the bag? They're on page ninety-eight. Ninety-eight pages. Oh. Ninety-eight pages. Oh. 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 Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. The correct answer is electric type. Yes! Question two. <laughs> Squirtle only wears its shell when it wants to battle. True or false? <laughs> false. It's always wearing it. That is correct. Yes! <laughs> two for two, two for two. This one, not multiple choice, short answer. Okay. Oh. Shit, okay. So you just have to know it. All right. Which region was Squirtle first discovered in? <laughs> Kanto. That is correct. You didn't, you didn't even look. You know that's right. I know that's correct. Um, this one has a visual aid. What move is Squirtle using in this little diagram? I have a guess. It's not bubble. It's not bubble beam. It's not. Um, is it water gun? I think it might be hydro pump. Oh, hydro cans. It's water gun. Water gun. Three for three. <laughs> you gotta. Ah! <laughs> Number five. Which Pokemon does Squirtle evolve into? What turtle? Well, I, oh, sorry. It was multiple choice. My apologies. I thought it was another short answer. No, no, no. Uh, Crabominable? War turtle? No. Or Manaphy? Manaphy. Or, uh, or the other one? 
I don't know if that's Manaphy or Fionn. Either way, it's War Tour. It's the other turtle. I think that's Fionn. Yeah, the, Fionn. it's probably the turtle. Um, number six. It's probably the turtle. It's probably the turtle. Uh, number six. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this was a short answer. <laughs> yeah, you're villainy. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Which Pokemon is the same height as Squirtle? <laughs> Short answer. It could be anyone. I hope you know. <laughs> I hope you know which Pokemon. There's is... no option. No. <laughs> Short answer. <laughs> what? Do you know? <laughs> um, is it Charmander? That is incorrect. The correct answer was ducklet. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven. <laughs> this just seems like this insane jump in difficulty. What does he turn into of these three? Who is he the same height as? <laughs> okay, this one's multiple choice. Difficult, I think, but mm -hmm. multiple choice. Okay. <laughs> I think it, yeah. Uh, circle the correct weight of Squirtle. Is it A, 1.98 pounds? No. B, 19.8 pounds? Maybe. Or C, 198 <laughs> pounds? God, I wish he was that chonky. Okay. <laughs> There's no way he's 200 pounds. It's 19 pounds. That is correct. So that would mean that you got six... Of the seven Pokemon questions. Another one. Oh. Wait, there's only seven questions. But then the rankings are like zero to three points, four to six points, seven to eight points. Is there a way? But to... there's only seven questions. Are you... And they're not they're not weighted differently. Um how absurd. Uh... How how could you have gotten eight points? I wonder, are there other... I think other quizzes are eight points. Oh, So this I see. this feels unfair, but unfortunately, because you did not know that Ducklet was the same <laughs> height as Squirtle, you only got six points. I just have to know all of the heights of Pokemon. Yeah. Because it wasn't even... I was thinking, well, contemporaries. Right. So instead... Uh, you I'm only... like, in the anime, they're similar. Yes, yeah, so you only get six points, which is not bad. I didn't even get a good. Well, you're not quite an expert, but you and Squirtle definitely have the potential to be a tough battle team. Keep trying. Every day I wake up <laughs> and I want to fucking die. You almost got Squirtle Squad. <gasps> I love you. Wow, you clearly spent loads of time with the tiny turtle Pokemon. You know all of Squirtle's strengths and weaknesses. That's not fair. I did know all of his strengths <laughs> and weaknesses. His height is not a strength. Not bad. <laughs> do you want to do one? Sure, I'll fail it. Do you want to? Do you? Wait, well, wait. Which one do you want to do? Which ones are there? I know there's Gardevoir, Gardevoir. Mimic You, uh -huh. Eevee, right? Tyranitar, right? Leafeon, right? Gengar. Uh, uh, you can uh, pick it. Do whichever one you want. Do Genki. It's Halloween. Okay. Oh, wait. Do I know anything about Gengar? <laughs> You're about to. <laughs> oh no. Okay, and I'm... page 99 has the answers. This was so good. I love this purchase. <laughs> I want to do the I want to do the word purchase. <laughs> you can have that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep the mini posters for yourself. But did you write down how much you paid for it so you can write it off? It was 6.99. Write it off. <laughs> um ultimate quiz Gengar. Okay. Gengi. The ultimate Gengar quiz. Gengar quiz. Which type is Gengar strongest against? Oh no. <laughs> Are there options? No, it's short answer. Really? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. There are two acceptable answers. Okay. He's ghost poison. Right. Psychic. Because ghosts are scary. Right. Ah! Oh. The answer was ghost poison. Uh, what? Ghost is super effective against ghost. Right. But, like, 
Like poison would be super effective, I think, against flying. Or no, a fighting, I think. I don't remember. It does I don't he, feel like he's super effective sense. against ghost poison. He's not psychic. Well, psychic was super effective against poison in Gen 1. Yeah. I, hmm. I see I I'm like strongest against would be himself. That doesn't make sense. I don't Also, since when in strongest against do you dual type? <laughs> strongest against is Nidorino. Uh. Okay. Okay. Well, that felt unfair. Okay. okay. Well, here. How about I give you a freebie? I'm ready. What type is Gengar? Are you Check sure it. You, are you sure you didn't read the the wrong answer? Oh, I'm sure. Ghost. Because when I looked at it, I went... So, like, answers one and two are ghost and poison? Well, don't. You're getting ahead. The options are... Well, <laughs> actually, technically, the answer is not ghost poison. The answer is B. But, okay, thank you. but you do get the point. Uh, ghost, ghost poison, or poison? He's ghost poison. Ghost poison. All right, uh, three. When there's a full moon, oh god, Gengar can make shadows move on its own. Okay. True or false? False. He could do it ah! whenever he wants. Nope. Only when the when then there's a full moon. It what, says what? it's true. Only when there's a full moon. Well, I guess it didn't say only. No, it didn't. So if when there's a full, it could be any time. I should have said. Can make yeah. shadows move on its own. Only during the full moon. I don't. I don't understand. It, it's not clear. This one sucks. I'm bad. You are not going to find out if you're a Gengar guru. I'm not a Gengar guru. Um, you've gotten one correct so far. Uh, <laughs> check Gengar's correct weight below. Okay. A, 89.3 pounds. Oh, okay. B, 50.6 pounds. Okay. Or C, 40.5 pounds. Okay, why was yours... Factors of 10 and mine all live in the same little bubble. I don't like this. The, the middle weight. The middle weight. 50.6. Ah! Answer was A, 89.3 pounds. He's a ghost. He Definitely. shouldn't weigh anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. Number five. What is Gengar known to emerge from? Check it. His own tongue. No, uh, <laughs> it was a little picture with his tonguey. With tongue. Uh, a darkness. <laughs> B fairy dust. <laughs> or C caves. Famously lives in caves. Darkness. <laughs> Correct. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Sound you never thought you'd hear again. I'd never hear it. Oh. Gengar's pre-evolution <laughs> is going to say Gengar's pronouns. <laughs> pronouns! <laughs> His pronouns are ghost dark. <laughs> the poison! <laughs> <laughs> he has different pronouns than his typing. How dare you? You shouldn't stereotype his pronouns. Because <laughs> he ain't monotype! <laughs> Where is it? Uh. Right. <laughs> Gengar's pre evolution is Hauntor. Yeah. Or Haunter. But which Pokemon does Haunter evolve from? Ghastly. Lil Ghastly. Ghastly. They finally added Mega Ghastly. And I'm not going to. No, not Mega Ghastly. Oh, Dynamax Ghastly. Not that I'm going to go get him. Because I don't care about Dynamax. Well, I but I wonder, does Dynamax... Yes. I don't think it's Gigantamax. It's not. Because Gigantamax are only for the special 40-person raids. Yeah. <sighs> but I am going to want some of them. I know. Yeah. I know. All right. Ooh. Test your knowledge. Oh, that's the other one. Seven. How tall is Gengar? Oh, God. Four foot 11, A. He's a ghost. B, three foot 11. Uh... C is not two foot eleven. Oh, C is four foot six. D is three foot six. There's four options. Four foot eleven. Three foot eleven. Four foot eleven. Let's go, Pokemon. You've gotten three Let's correct go. so far. Give me that second tier. Same tier that you were in. If you get this correct, 
I you won't. go from uh oh to almost there. <laughs> Number eight. Don't do this to me. Okay. Don't do this to me. Gengar's eyes turn blue when it's angry. What? Since when? True or false? False. I'm sorry, my dear, but that is correct. <laughs> I'm almost <laughs> there. there. Four to six points, almost there. You're a big fan of Gengar. I am. But don't know everything yet. <laughs> that's that's true. They got me there. <laughs> Brush up on your facts, and it won't be long until you're an expert. Genki. God. Okay, that was good. I'll do Gardevoir. Okay. I figured. And then maybe we'll, we'll, we'll debate some of these battles. Right, right. I want to do one more quiz, though, because okay. this quiz is good shit. Ultimate Gardevoir. Guys. All right, I'm ready for speed. Pink. Purple Gardevoir. Oh. Look at her dye job. She's, She's so pretty. Oh, that's shiny. You got that rare, very uh, shiny. Huh. Her name's Iris. She only looks like that in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> Question number one. Mm-hmm. Check the Pokemon that evolves into Gardevoir. Curlia. I said check it. Check it. See. Oh, oh. Uh, it's not Curlia. It's Ross. Solosis. See. <laughs> Celosis. Celosis. They they really like leaned hard though. They're like, look, the same colors. Uh-huh. Maybe she comes good. from a fetus. We well, all do. And Snubble. And Snubble. And Snubble's there. I wish Gardevoir evolved from Solosis. That would be such a fun thing. If you think about it, Solosis should evolve into whatever because it sells. Yeah. Solosis, Duosion, like, Typhlosion. Get, get rid of um, the middle one. Duosion. Nope. Of Curlia. Curlia. Oh, Curly is the middle Curly one? Curly is the middle one. That's yeah. Ralts. So we should go from Solosis to Ralts to Gardevoir. Yeah, like a baby. There was a Pokemon in the those leaks. There was apparently a Pokemon that like looked like this nasty little thing that like could evolve into anything. Oh. So it would like as like when it evolves, it randomly would evolve into another Pokemon. Oh. Right. Could you imagine having this little derpy thing and then it turns into Rayquaza? That'd be cool. Do-do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> How heavy is God of War? Circle to correct weight. Is it one? I'm going to lose it. Is it 1.067 pounds? 10.67 pounds? Or 106.7 pounds? Oh, God. Is she? I feel like. Is she one pound? 10 pounds? Or 106 pounds? I think she's 106 pounds, Your Honor. That's correct. <gasps> That was for the other one. Question number three. Oh, perfect. True, false. Gardevoir are strongest when protecting its trainer. True. That is correct. <laughs> Question four. <laughs> what, is Gardev- <laughs> what is Gardevoir's type? Is it A, dark fairy, B, grass dark, or C, psychic fairy? Can I have country of origin? <laughs> the answer is not Kanto. <laughs> the answer Where is, is she from? Sinnoh? Uh No, not Hoenn. Sinnoh. Yeah. I'm like, it's not Johto. Gen 3 high. And it's not Sinnoh because that's the one that I played with Arceus and she was the Nana. She wasn't there. Actually, uh, she was. The answer is C, Psy- uh, Psychic Fairy. That is correct. Thank you. That is the correct answer. We what? should do a spelling bee. I love that. Okay. Question. We'll do it at my comedy club. Okay, work. Question five. Short answer. What word is missing from its Pokédex entry? <laughs> I don't understand how anyone could ever know this. What word is missing from its Pokédex entry? Which Pokédex entry? And missing by what standard? Like it appears in others. <laughs> are there eight questions? There are eight questions. Okay, so I, I, I can <laughs> you can least... fail this. Okay, can you give me any hints about the word? It starts with the letter F. Is it friend? It is not. It oh. is future. I don't know why. Ah! I, I don't know. I don't know. Which Pokemon? Question number six. Which Pokemon is the same height as Gardevoir? Is it Machamp? 
Clefairy. <laughs> you okay? My brain was sitting there going, Chansey. And I'm like, that's <laughs> literally not Chansey. <laughs> Clefairy or Gyarados? Gyarados. Gyarados. Like I think the answer is A, Machamp. That is the correct answer. Because, <laughs> like, drag, uh, uh, Big Boy is real big. Yeah. Big boys are big. Gyarados V big. Machamp, not as big as people think. Mm-mm. But if it holds its arms up and they yeah. stay there. And they stay there. Number seven. Which type is Gardevoir strongest against? Short answer. Fighting type. That is correct. Oh, thank you. Question eight. Final question. Final question. Which move can Gardevoir learn? <laughs> Is it a short answer? It's a short answer. <laughs> also, this there's this picture. What? Which is unhelpful. Uh, it's unrelated, from as best I can tell. <laughs> I'm like, can't it learn a lot of moves? Okay, I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna. I want to guess. Psychic, because that's okay. the strongest move. But it could also be confusion. I don't think it, Gardevoir learns confusion. Gardevoir learns psychic because you don't. You typically don't get psychic until you get Gardevoir. Okay. Unless you put off evolving your Curlia so you can get it at an earlier level. I'm gonna go. Oh, is it Calm Mind? Is that your final answer? Oh, is it one or two words? You can't tell me. I Fuck. can't tell you. I'm so sorry. I, Actually, I will tell you. It's two words. Calm mind, please. Final answer? It could be future sight. <laughs> I'm going to say calm mind. Correct answer is dream eater. Ah! <laughs> so, good effort. Dream eater? <laughs> good effort. You're clearly interested in this powerful Pokemon. Well, yeah. With more research, you'll no doubt become a Gardevoir great. I'd love to do more research about You'd Gardevoir. You'd love to be a Gardevoir great? Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. That was that was a lot. Okay. Fuck that bullshit. Okay. Some of these, I'm like, what word is missing? What? That doesn't make that sense. That is absolute insanity. Like, it literally, like, does not. I'm like, what? what it, it, that, that's not. That's not part of it. Also, can't Gardevoir learn all kinds of moves? Yes. Like, like Dream Eater was, I'm sure, one of them. Right. But Dream Eater's also, like, not, like, like Dream Eater, that, if that would be a move that, like, if that question was for Gengar, I would have, like, Dream Eater, that's the iconic. Like, with, with Gardevoir, it's like, calm mind. Yeah. Psychic. Well, fuck that. That's stupid. I suck ass, apparently. Let's fight. Okay. Is it before or after the crosswords? It's before. Mm. So, Ludicolo versus Blissey. Discuss. Oh, okay. Ludicolo in purple. Oh, mood. love her. I love that. Love her. Um, who's gonna win? Ooh. We got we got grass water. We got big old normal. Oh, okay. So what's difficult about Ludicolo versus Blissey is that Ludicolo is able to set up um, rain dance, probably with rain dish, and I don't know if they can learn leech seed, but you can definitely stall a good long time with that and by stall that means like not really dealing a whole lot of damage but like you're able to recuperate health and you could just stay alive forever right blissey is basically the same thing is a brick shit house of a defensive wall super defensive has different ways of healing themselves to pr- prolong that battle mm-hmm. but if i had to guess overall i would argue that ludicolo would probably beat out blissey barring items but let me see if this changes your thought okay the rhythm of bright, festive music activates Ludicolo's cells, making it more powerful. Are we dancing? Is it some Cypher B shit? I mean, we just got to paint the scene. Well, that makes more sense. What's the little blurb about Blissey? Whenever a Blissey finds a weakened Pokemon, it will share its egg and offer its care until the other Pokemon is all better. Oh, yeah. Ludicolo wins. I feel like that's no contest. But Blissey's going to shit on the competition. Right. Or what do you what are your thoughts? Does she only have one egg? She So has... she shares it, but then she's like, okay, and now you're done. No, she back. produces egg. But I, I don't know if it's like because it's like a pouch. Happeny does not have egg. Happeny no. has rock that looks like egg that they go here, practice with this. Mm-hmm. 
It's very. That's, that's actually yeah. It's, yeah, no, I know that. Do. That's so cute. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I I didn't put that together. Like, oh, that's really cute. They're like, here you can practice. Yeah. Hey, Peeny. Hey, Peeny. Um. Hey, Peeny. My Blissey would win, but I yeah. think just like you know. The right. chips are down. I think. I think Ludicolo. Yeah, like it just it depends. Like I feel like there's more offensive utility with it, but like Blissey's tough to beat. Like she, there's no there's she, no uh, type advantage. She chomping. In that. Mm-hmm. She chomping. It depends on the move sets and the will of the trainer. Butterfree versus Beedrill. The most iconic battle in history. Uh, Butterfree, some quick fast facts. Yeah, yeah, fast facts. Bug flying, three foot seven, seventy point five pounds. That's a disgusting bug. Bee drill, bug poison, Ooh. three foot three, a little mm-hmm. shorter, little guy, sixty five pounds, little little a little lighter, a little lighter, a little faster, a welterweight mm-hmm. with a stingy. Um, Beedrill, because it has poison type. Beedrill, with it having poison type, would probably win, but, and this is important, Butterfree is, like, uh, like, it's got access to, because as soon as you evolve, um, Metapod into Butterfree, it wants to learn, like, sleep powder, poison powder, um, and whatnot. So, given, given enough time... And some bad attacks from Beedrill, I think Butterfree could win. Mm-hmm. But I would have to, if I had to weight it, I, I, I would say uh, like three to one Beedrill Butterfree. Did you know that these are not referred to as Beedrill's arms? They're referred to as Beedrill's forelegs. His forelegs? Mm-hmm. Really? These ones? Oh, because technically he would be... He doesn't have arms. Whoa. Because he's a bug. Four legs. And there's four legs there. Yeah, as opposed to the aft legs. Right, right, of course. Okay. I miss this kind of shit. As soon as a kid, you go, oh, man, I don't oh, know. bitch. What's the right oh, answer? Bitch. There isn't one. Oh, okay. Do they have an answer for these or no? No. Okay. It's over to you. Now choose your winner. Yeah. Mm. Okay, uh, so we have uh, Circuit Twink versus Bear. Also known as Low Punny versus Diggersby. Is that Diggersby, though? <laughs> Let's go to my boy. <laughs> oh, okay. Fast facts. Low punny, uh, normal typing, three foot 11, 73.4 pounds. Evolves from Baneary. She's our little short stack. <laughs> Diggersby. Normal ground. He's some, he's some good coverage. Three foot her. three, a little shorter, but 93.5 pounds, a heavier mm. boy. Normal ground type. Normal ground typing. Ooh, okay. These fluffy fighters deliver crushing kicks, but who hits the hardest? Hop on it. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> this is good. Okay. Um if I had to pick, I think Low Punny ultimately takes it because Low Punny gets access yeah, to Punny fighting. Takes it. Yeah, she does. Look at Diggersby. Low oh. Punny takes it. Mm-hmm. Well, you know Diggersby is the bottom. Look at him. <laughs> you know? And like and she's just a brat. And like I, I, I live for it. Pillow Princess Low Punny versus Service Top Diggersby. Oh, absolutely! And you know he's got Earthquake. <laughs> he's got Dig. Like with Dig, he could maybe eke it out. But I think that Low Punny, like Low Punny, has access to Double Kick. Mm-hmm. And even though Diggersby is pretty like bulky, Jongy. like it's just design wise. I don't think it's reflected in his Staturoonies. So, Damn. also, Low Punny could Mega. Low Punny can Mega, but she isn't Mega Damn. in this fight. So. Damn. Are you ready for the classic fight of all fights? I'm ready for the classic fight of all fights. Pikachu versus Gargantua. Gargantua? It's a new one. Okay. It's one of the new ones. Gyarados versus Milotic. Gyarados Milotic. Gyarados Milotic. He liked. Yeah. But it's, it's, they stole my background, first of all. See, oh my god, the bisexual lighting energy. They here. stole my thing. He was okay. a Gyarados boy. She was a Milotic girl. <laughs> Cannot make it any more obvious. obvious. Ugly oh, fish to powerful worm uh, pipeline. Uh, the ugly fish to powerful worm. You, you and I, we, uh, we're what? that Robert Frost poem, <laughs> but we took two different sides of the same path less traveled. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm all here for this, like, 
in profile shot of mm-hmm. Magikarp and Feebas. I've never seen a Feebas in profile before. Oh yeah, it worked. In pure profile. Ooh, okay. Un- unrelated but Relicanth, good Pokemon. Only available in Pokemon Go in New Zealand and outlying areas or during special events, which I was not present for. Mm-hmm. So it's the only thing missing from whichever region right, that is. <laughs> okay, so Gyarados has an extremely aggressive nature. The hyper right. beam it shoots from its mouth totally incinerates all targets. But it then has to take a turn off to recharge. Milotic has provided inspiration to many artists. It's even been referred to as the most beautiful Pokemon of all. Well, it's no, a worm, so yeah. that's wrong. Yeah, I was going to say, Lilligant exists. Um, also, uh, Stunfisk exists. Thank you. Uh, Drudagon exists. They, that stupid uh, penguin with the ice cube on its head? The, forgot, the forbidden Pokemon that, that got removed from the game for Sveal, which was Pin Pin. That, which was supposed to be a bowling pin penguin Pokemon <laughs> so that they would like stand together on the ice and feel would roll into them. And they got rid of that. They didn't. But then we got ice Q, which is the one with the two head or the nasty one with the snot mm-hmm. the little uh, bear with a little snot. Yeah. Cub chew. Yeah. And beer tick. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, so some fast facts. Fast facts. Gyarados is water flying 21 foot, four inches. Uh, and 518.1 pounds. Pretty Milotic good. is pure water type, a height of 20 foot 4 inches, so one foot shorter, exactly one foot shorter, mm. um, with a weight of 357.1 pounds, so quite a bit lighter. I, God, I, I want to say that Milotic can learn thunder. I feel like it can. Okay. If Milotic can learn Thunder, I don't know if I'm right. Uh, it abs- It's no contest. Right. Because. Zip zap. Yeah. Four times weakness. It, it bye fucks bye. up Gyarados. Gyarados, on the other hand, it doesn't really have access to any moves that I'm aware of that would be super effective against Milotic. So it's kind of a more even matchup. Hence the. the solar Beam. Solar Beam. I don't oh, think maybe. Gyarados can learn Solar Beam. <laughs> I don't think so. But I think Milotic can learn some moves that go against. Uh, uh, Gyarados. But Gyarados also would have um, Intimidate most likely, so it would lower the attack stage by Milotic, but then I think a lot of water moves actually end up being special Wait. moves. So I- I'm going to give it to Milotic. A lot of times the newer Pokemon beat out the older Pokemon, which kind of sucks. Your Lotic. Just my Lotic. But Diggersby, though? Diggersby! Ah! Hit Molly. We, we have oh, limited time. Yeah. But, but Is this going to be the last one? I Do think... we want this to be the last one? I don't really How... like these. What's, what's oh, Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. But this is like a classic. Don't speak to me. Okay. Do you know how Tyrog evolves? I do know that. With all the stat, it's the stat distribution. I do. And so you where's can get Hitmon, Hitmon Top? top. Uh, oh, Hitmon Top is working, honey. Oh, honey. It's been to win. Uh, Ooh, I want to play Pokemon Stadium. Da, 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 da. Hell yeah! You want to play some music should, for we that? Should, we should play some Pokemon Stadium soon. Hell yeah! Podcast. Um, Kangaskhan. Let's... Gone. Oh, here we'll do this one for you because okay. you'll like this. It's Grimmsnarl against... Gothitelle versus Grimmsnarl. Oh, well, first of all, I'm not goth, so... uh, (laughs) So do we want Blow Up Doll, or do we think, you know, like, uh, Jim Rat? So Pure Psychic versus Dark and Fairy. So I'm going to give it to Grimmsnarl. (laughs) (laughs) Which petrifying Pokemon wins this battle, you decide? Grimmsnarl. It knows Dark-type moves. Gothitelle has tremendous psychic power, but it dislikes conflict. That works really well in a fighting game. Psychic doesn't um, work against dark. I'm pretty sure it just doesn't affect dark. Yeah. It's also able to predict the future based on the movement of the stars. So she I'm can see her loss. <laughs> Meanwhile, Grimmsnarl, its hairs work like muscle fibers. When its hairs unfurl, they latch onto opponents, ensnaring them as tentacles would. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. What's her name? Bakugo. Hair lady. Donatella, Bayonetta. Uh, Bayonetta. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Grimmsnarl, Bayonetta. Grim, Grimmsnarl wins hands down. I, what about Impidimp? Okay, Impidimp versus Gothita. <laughs> <laughs> I, Gothita makes me so Why uncomfortable. Why is it so up close? It's so uncomfortable. It's It literally it looks like it grabbed the it, Pokemon uh, Go camera and it's like, I'm, I'm right here. here. But it, Gothita looks at you like you got games on your phone and you're like, oh, I'll throw a curveball. And it's like, <laughs> you overshot it. How? Because it's right there. It's right here. What I did really like um, when Sword and Shield, like when they were starting to do promo material for Sword and Shield, um, 
like before the game had come out, Pokemon did a, a live cam, uh, a live stream on YouTube, which mm-hmm. was like they some researchers put a a camera in the forest before Balanea Town. Okay. Um, which you would find out later in the games, but like the forest where you could find Impidimp and stuff. And that's how Impidimp got revealed. And I think Galarian Ponyta got kind of teased in it too. Mm. But we would see some little Impidimps running around in the little fairy forest. It was very, very cool. Impidimp. Ooh, I kind of want to play Sword and Shield again. Impidimp. Ooh. Impidimp. 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 Okay, one final question. One final question. Or this really? is a Mimikyu quiz question. <gasps> Do you have to go. <laughs> I do have to go. Uh, which type is Mimic you weakest against? Uh, well, it is ghost typing. Is it? Uh, ghost, it's ghost and fairy. Thank you. Um, and what type is it what? What type is it weakest against? Dark types, I believe. Final answer. It's all or nothing, baby. All or nothing. Dark. I'm going all in on dark type. No. It's steel type. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, because steel super effective against fairy. I get it, which is true. Sure. But then sometimes it's not. I don't understand the fairy typing. I'll be really honest. I don't think they do either. That's why they got rid of it in the TCG. Because uh-huh. then sometimes fire's super effective, and then sometimes it's not. It doesn't. I I can't. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, I gotta go, but this was fun. This was very fun. you get to have the mini posters. I do. And the crosswords and the quiz. I'll let you know how they go. You have to go right now, just pretty much. So uh, thank you, everybody, for coming in and watching for the the, the third Halloween Ghoul cast. Enjoy your aerobics instruction. I put a spell on you. Iggy biggity boo. I hope you have a good poo. You're God's (laughs) spell. And I'm, I guess I'm my lot of colors. Tell me the truth. Uh, you are you are my lot of colors. Uh, my child is close to the camera in Pokemon Go. I'm Gotha Tell. Okay. Right. Gotha Show Don't Tell. Uh, I don't want to see it actually. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, bye.